this is Halloween, and if you love making costumes and Halloween as much as I do, you may want to subscribe because I'm going to be showing you how to make some awesome costumes without breaking the bank, maybe even using some items you already have at home. In today's episode, we are going to be recreating a classic, beautiful butterfly. Let's get started. This is what we got. I have a full black bodysuit. It has the hands in it, the feet in it, and all. It's a turtleneck, so it's gonna cover most of our body. I have a steel boned underbust corset. This has a kind of like a fishnet to it. It looks very sort of like a bug, which is great. I bought these wings from Claire's for half off after Halloween. So I was like, okay, let's do a butterfly this year. It came with the antennas. I bought an anime wig for this. The reason being is because when I think of a bug, any kind of bug, whether it be a bee or a butterfly or a caterpillar, they always kind of fuzzy. Their heads are fuzzy. So I liked the look of this. A lot of people go do the bald look, like Heidi Klum did more of a bald look when she did a butterfly. I'm gonna do mine with a fuzzy head because that's the way I like it. I bought these glasses online. They were really cheap, like seven bucks. And that's gonna be our eyes. And these awesome sequined rainbow color boots. I just thought they were cool. That's the most expensive part of my costume. I think they cost like 54 bucks, but I think I can use them for other things. So, and I probably will, so no big deal. Other than that, that's the costume. Let's go ahead and get started with our makeup. It's makeup time. So, for the butterfly, I have blue hues. I have um, a basic, just a light blue, and this is a matte, and I have a shiny blue, which I'm probably gonna go with. Uh, these are both Mehron colors. These are the aqua paints they have. Because our bodysuit covers everything, including our hands and neck, we just have to do our face and a little bit of our neck. Our wig will cover our ears, but I will probably will paint a little bit on my ears so that I don't have a flesh tone ear sticking out or anything. I have some black. Uh, I'm also going to be using a black pencil right here. This is just a regular CoverGirl black pencil. I am going to be using some Crayola Model Magic. That's going to be the basic colors I think I'm going to use on my face. This butterfly is loosely based on Heidi Klum's 2014 butterfly she did for her annual Halloween party. So mine's going to be a little bit different. Obviously, I don't have millions of dollars for someone to do my whole body in body paint or anything like that. Or have all the special effects makeup. And Heidi Klum's amazing, but she also has a lot of money. So we're going to do this in a more economical way, but it's still going to look awesome. Now, I do have the glasses that I bought. They're kind of an alien eye or a bug eye looking glasses. But if I were going out, I would probably wear scleral lenses under the glasses. In case if I wanted to take the glasses off, I would still look like a bug underneath. Just letting you know what I would probably do, that's totally optional. If you're gonna have your glasses on all night, you're not gonna take them off. Just wear the glasses, because they do the trick. You're gonna look like a bug or, you know, a butterfly at least is what we're going for. Now, I thought I would start with a little prosthetics using my Model Magic. And I wanted to kind of make my nose more of a flat surface. So we'll start by doing that. And then I'm going to accent my cheekbones, which we've already done. We did it with Michael Jackson and we did it with Maleficent. I do have videos on both of those as well, but I'm just flattening out the model magic right now, just making it flat kind of the way I want it to be. And then when I place it over my nose, I just want to kind of smear it on. I'm kind of wanting it to go straight across making it appear that I don't really have a nose. 
Not a real nose, anyway. Not a human nose. Let's just put it that way. If you want to make your pieces blend better, you're going to kind of rip the edges of your clay and that's gonna make them blend a lot better. Then you won't have these thick pieces. I promise I don't have cat hair all over my house. I was just, I had the cat sitting in my lap and he always sits in my lap and he gets hair all over me. Then I go to wipe my hands on my lap and there's cat hair, which you can clearly see in the video. <laughs> He's a long haired cat. There's a lot of hair involved. I try to keep it as clean as possible. This is kind of what I'm going for. Just kind of like a noseless, a smoother surface. Once I get it kind of where I want it to be, I'm gonna start getting glue around the edges. Okay, so for now I've applied some glue to the outer edges, the thinner pieces, and the middle where my nose is gonna be until I can get the rest kind of formed the way I want it. Then we're gonna thin out the bottom pieces. I'm not super concerned about the cheekbones actually because we're gonna be heavily going over that with a pronounced cheekbone piece. I have opened up a hole with just, this is a paintbrush I had laying around <laughs> so I can breathe <laughs> through the piece. All right, now we're gonna glue underneath. We're gonna try and smooth out our edges a bit more. I'm forming how I want my cheekbones to kind of look here. And I'm gonna try and make the outsides as thin as possible so that I can blend them easier. Kinda looks a hot mess right now, but that's okay because I'm gonna be going over it with these pieces. So I'm just gonna go ahead and glue those. You want a lot of the glue to be on the outer edges because that's gonna be the most important thing that you wanna stick down. You're gonna put some in the middle too, but just make sure you get quite a bit, a liberal amount on the outer edges. Has anyone ever actually looked at a butterfly's face? Because you can get inspiration from that. There are several different types of butterfly face <laughs> out there. Uh, if you look online, just look up close up images of a butterfly's face and it'll come up with all these different images. They all look pretty different. So. If this is your first time seeing one of my videos, I use Model Magic for a lot of different costumes. I've used it for Fiona, I've used it for Emmett Kelly, I've used it for Maleficent, I've used it for just all kinds of different costumes. It's a great medium to use if you don't want to buy expensive prosthetics because just one foam latex piece could cost you $30 or, or more. You know, even the smallest thing, like for example, a pig nose. They're not cheap, and this is a cheaper way to go. And when you're doing a lot of costumes like me, economic is good. <laughs> the more economic, the better. You're gonna need liquid latex as well for your blending. We just tore that so it's real thin. I'm gonna apply some spirit gum to that. And let that dry. I just did the same thing to the other side of my face. It looks kind of crazy right now, but uh, I think it'll look all right once I'm done. <laughs> Never done a butterfly before. So this is my first time executing a butterfly costume. It's just that I found all that stuff on sale right after Halloween and I thought, all right, I guess I'm gonna be a butterfly this year. <laughs> so I'm just putting on liquid latex now to blend. And I'm just doing that with my finger. 
Now this should dry clear or close to clear. And then you just put makeup over it. And you have to put it on quick because it dries fast. And then once it dries, it sticks to everything. <laughs> but if you get it on your fingers, you could just ball it up like this and it'll come right off. You just ball it up. It's a lot easier to get off than the spirit gum. Let's just put it that way. For spirit gum, adhesive, if you have some and you're trying to get it off and you can't, use any kind of mineral oil. Baby oil, hair oil, you know, an oil will take it off. I went ahead and painted on it a little bit once it was dry because I wanted to show you at home that it looks kind of crazy before it's painted. Um, and it's kind of bumpy. It's got some texture to it, but I'm not hating it because butterfly faces are not smooth. They're hairy, they're bumpy, they're weird. So I'm not really hating that. It's kind of a, it's a little more realistic, you know. I'm gonna proceed with painting the blue part of my face. It's gonna be blue, black, and put a little bit of white for highlight. Ooh, there's like a real bug in here. And while I was looking at butterfly faces online, <laughs> is that a mosquito? I got him. Anyway, while I was looking at butterfly faces online, they have this weird curly thing, and it's for eating pollen, I think, or whatever they eat. It's like a curly thing. I've cut these. These are actually pipe cleaners. It comes off their face and stretches out straight, and then they eat with them. So I don't, I don't know if I'm going to use these or not, but I might. It's just pipe cleaners rolled up into a little coil. That's what they look like on their faces. I am gonna go ahead and just go over my eyes. My forehead is gonna be black. So that my glasses, my sunglasses will, you know, blend in, the bridge will blend in. That is the blue area. So I went around my eyes, around my cheekbones, and as you can see here, I'm doing black. Pretty easy. I just went off camera so I can get into all the little nooks and crannies. It's not completely smooth, but like I said, I think it'll look good because butterflies really aren't completely smooth either. Now I'm gonna go in with my black underneath my cheeks. And in here, like at the bottom of my chin, on my forehead, and down to the bridge of my nose where the sunglasses are gonna be, so hopefully that'll all blend together. Going right up in here, as far under my lip as I can go. I guess we just gotta trust the process because it looks kind of crazy right now. I understand. <laughs> Everybody has their own version of everything, you know? And like I said, I don't watch other people's videos before I come on here. I take inspiration from real butterflies, Heidi Klum, <laughs> and then I just do it how I think it will look good. Especially when I've never done it before. I'm just kind of doing my own thing. And you know what? Like I always say, it usually always turns out pretty good. Now the prosthetics and stuff, that's all optional. You don't have to do that at all. It's just something I do. I'm extra. Something kind of like this would look good, even without any prosthetics. The blue and the black, and then I'm going to go in up top here. I'm going to actually kind of blend that a little bit. And then I was gonna do some lines, blue lines up here. I'm not pinching enough. It's not really gonna show much because I'm gonna have bangs up there, kinda. I told you I'm doing kinda like a furrier version. <laughs> now I'm gonna get my liquid liner. I was gonna use just a regular pencil, but I'm gonna do a liquid liner, I think, and do some spots and then put my 
little things in. I'm going to do my lips in black, and this is just a regular pencil. For this look, you're going to want to have some Final Seal if you're going out, or some Barrier Spray. Final Seal is made by Ben Nye, and Barrier Spray is the Mayron version. But you're going to want to spritz some of that on your face so that your makeup doesn't budge when you go out. I've got a liquid liner. I'm going to just do some spots, kind of just... And these are not perfect little dots or anything like that. Not perfect, just there. I didn't go down far enough with my black. I'm gonna go down about that far so that hopefully the bridge of my glasses blends in a little bit. And then I wanted to add these on. Hopefully this isn't a disaster, but they this is the little coil that they would use to grab their pollen or whatever they eat. I was thinking I was just gonna dig into this clay a little bit Gosh, I hope it doesn't mess it up. I think it'll be all right. Let me do this first. If any of my neck shows up, I wanna have a little bit of detail on my neck. So I'm just gonna do something like that. Not hard, very easy. And then, and then we're, we're gonna try this. And I hope to God that it works because it's not something I've tried. I'm just going to dip it into my spirit gum adhesive and try to stick it inside the, the clay. And you're just gonna sit it there and let it dry. It's working. <laughs> Again, it's something you don't have to do. Like, if, if you don't wanna do this part, it's gonna still look like a butterfly without it, so. But I just was inspired by the butterfly faces that I saw online and they all have this, so let's go with it. All dressed up and ready for photos. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I hope you love today's look. Hey daddy, I'm a butterfly. <laughs> if you haven't already, please remember to like, subscribe, and share the video, and I'll see you next time.